turn to the Russian and Chinese jets intercepted by the U.S. military. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, is tracking this for us and what the Pentagon is saying this morning. Good morning to you, Martha. Good morning, Robin. This is provocative and unprecedented. For the first time ever, Chinese bombers were intercepted off the coast of Alaska. The two Chinese military aircraft, along with two Russian bombers, were flying in international airspace. But once the U.S. and Canada detected the bombers, they closely tracked them and sent U.S. and Canadian fighter jets to intercept them. NORAD said this was not seen as a direct threat. But with Joe Biden now officially a lame duck president, adversaries are bound to try and take advantage of that. And it clearly shows the growing cooperation between Russia and China in the Arctic region, which the commander of NORAD has said is a very big concern. Kisa, Kisa, man, look like we almost went to go this past weekend, man. And I'm not talking about that cyber security that just happened between, um, between Microsoft and uh, Cry, the and, and the and Cryfire or Firecraft, something like that, whatever the cyber security is supposed to be is, right? Um, we're not talking about that. We're talking about another attack that would just happen. As you just hear in the news by ABC News reporter, um, this weekend, both China and, um, and Russia came together with a fire jet. Now, mind you, two, just a month ago, Russia was just in a Coast Guard of U.S. and to going to Cuba. Because I know America said that was the normal training they normally do with Cuba or whatever. There's other third. But this time, they are partnered with China and flew a um, uh, missile jet close to uh, U.S. and Canada air, airspace, uh, which is... Um, What's, what's that? What's that? State again? Uh, I think Arkansas, right? And that is scary. Will Russia and uh, China strike? No, I don't think they will strike, but they are testing how our level of response, or they are really testing our level of, you know, I mean, cap cap capability. I know they know we can we can hit them, but the test that they try to see, are we there? Because based on the president we have, um, and I know they probably would do that if probably Trump wasn't president because they know Trump probably would have fucking like strapped back right away. But I just want to show you, like we're not that far from a World War Three, guys. We are not that far for a both U.S. and China fl a jet flying that close to a U.S. airspace, bro. They're literally like asking for it. They're really looking like they're asking for it because they probably they are tired of the level of um tariff the u.s uh, uh, is putting on in their country right you know russia right now is not too happy especially like they might just go uh, like look you already destroyed my my my, my economy you will literally like in, you know what i mean like crumble a lot of people are leaving my country you know what i mean and putin might just like like fuck it we're just gonna start the war right now and you got china right now uh, uh, really try to see test America because they got they, they got that, that, that gun power yeah China well Russia still have um, uh, missile like, like that can blow the world but China got that that that, 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 that combat they are really like building a lot of gun shipment airline passes to like go into this but the problem is the economy and also they're tired of the trading situation how U.S. is not allowed a lot of their um, con uh, trading between China and America, just like they do it to Russia. So they're willing to go, they're willing to try to uh, come back together and try to hit America from different side. Uh, we are, we, that's why we see we're spending over like almost now close to a trillion dollars because any day now we can get attacked by not only just Russia or China, uh, China we can possibly get hit by both of those countries. Can we beat both of them at the country after we just like spend that much money that much money and that much gun on russia i think that's why they 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 they, they want to know because they say we like we're spending that much weapon on on ukraine and russia they say maybe maybe we not be we, we, we might not be ready for a russia china war because we're already spending that much giving to them but whew, that is looking scary guys good looking really really scary 
But guys, what do, let me think about. Let me know what you think about this man. What do you think about Russia and China come together and come find so close to a US, US airspace? Do you think we're gonna? How long you think before we get into World War II between Russia and China? Two years, three years, five years? It could be any sooner than you thought. It could be any day now. If I were you, I would make sure I don't take all my money in my bank. Make sure you always have some money saving. Uh, make sure you don't have all my money and investment where you cannot get access to it because cash is king. If we go to a war, you might need some cash to go access to it. Oh shit. I must get a get real world in front. But it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you think about this. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. I want to get to a car accident. Deuces.